73 years ago today, the famous World War II battleship Missouri was christened here in New York. It was state of the art back then, but a far cry from a brand new and somewhat more controversial addition to the nation's fleet. We call our Sunday morning cover story, Anchors Away. It's reported by David Martin. If Batman had a warship, one admiral said, it would look like the USS Sumwalt. Welcome to the newest, most advanced warship that the Navy is bringing to the fleet. We rode with Captain James Kirk. No relation to Star Trek's Captain Kirk, although plenty of people have noted the coincidence, from Norfolk, Virginia, up to Baltimore, where the Zumwalt, with its one-of-a-kind look, was officially commissioned as a destroyer in the United States Navy. So Zumwalt looks radically different. It's part of the design of the ship to be stealthy, a sleek exterior without a lot of uh, metal sticking up in different places, a smooth surface. But what will President Trump think when he finds out the Zumwalt cost an astronomical $4 billion? Ray Mabus, who served as President Obama's Secretary of the Navy, admits the Navy tried to cram in too much new technology in too little time. We were designing while we built them. That's just not a smart way to build a ship. Mabus got that black eye not in a bureaucratic battle, but from eye surgery. He spoke with us on his last full day in office. The original concept was to have this very advanced destroyer that was primarily in a land attack role. So supporting ground troops, taking out in enemy positions inland, having hyper precise weapons that could reach a long way inland and to do it with the most advanced technology that, that we had. Those innocuous looking boxes house gun barrels capable of firing a rocket assisted shell more than 60 miles with pinpoint accuracy. So if there's an enemy of the United States within the range of the ship, if we're ordered to, that person has about two to three minutes before they will no longer be an enemy of the United States. But like the ship, its ammunition turned out to be ruinously expensive. $800,000 per shell. So the Navy is looking for a cheaper round, one that would have a significantly shorter range. Today, it's still a little bit unclear exactly what round is going on that ship, what, um, what that gun system will be able to do. There are only 147 crew members aboard the highly automated Zumwalt, about half what a traditional destroyer carries. I see over there, instead of lookouts, you now have video monitors. That's right, where we typically would have lookouts 24-7 uh, uh, on the port side, the starboard side, and aft. On this ship, we have camera systems so that we don't have to have sailors do it, we have cameras do it for us. Still, says Chief Petty Officer David Aiken, there is more than enough work the, to do. The systems on board the ship are uh, brand new to the Navy, most of them. We have to learn them from scratch for the most part. So is this a sweet duty assignment? It's sweet, but you've got to work for it. You're trying to catch up and keep up with all the new technologies on board the ship and understanding what's going on on board. The Zumwalt has already suffered two mechanical breakdowns, one in the Panama Canal as it was transiting from the East Coast to its permanent home port in San Diego. This is the first ship of a class. This is the first time it got underway. You're going to have things happen. Maybe so, but right now the Navy owns a $4 billion destroyer that cannot perform as advertised. How did that happen? It's a brand new concept, new technology. Number one, it's going to be expensive because some of the technology is not going to work or it's going to take longer to develop. Now, this program was started in the early 1990s. Ron O'Rourke has tracked the Zumwalt for the Congressional Research Service. Originally, as many as 32 of these ships were planned, but that number was cut back in subsequent years. And what are they planning to build now? Uh, the program was eventually truncated at only three ships. 32 down to three. That's right. And what happens if you only build a small number is the price just goes through the roof. Everything about the Zumwalt is controversial. Its cost, its look, even its name. Because Dad was so controversial in what he had done, we knew that there were many uh, people in the Navy that did not want the name Zumwalt attached to a Navy ship. Anne on the right and Musetta on the left are the daughters of the late Admiral Elmo Bud Zumwalt, Chief of Naval Operations from 1970 to 74.
Some malts shook up what at the time was a very hidebound service. He was that controversial in terms of integrating the Navy with minorities and women. Zumwalt was famous for messages he sent to the fleet called Z-grams, ordering an end to racism and sexism. Those Z-grams are on display for the ship's crew to read. If you look at the Zumwalt, you will see all religions, all races represented. It's ironic. The Navy was furthest behind in, in among the services. History has come to recognize Admiral Zumwalt as the leader who transformed the Navy of the 20th century. The USS Zumwalt is easy to recognize, but it will take a while for the Navy to figure out how to use it and for history to know what to think of it.